Hi, and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. Uh, I've got the uh, usual crew here. Uh, I've got myself and Anna and Christian. I already, already said what's up. I jumped the gun on that one. Way to go. Always I'm excited. Always jumping the gun, Christian. Jeez. Not always, just this once. Uh, normally you're in the middle of saying something. No, I quit right. doing that because you kept tricking me. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I never tried to trick you. This is all Christian. Mm. You control the magic button, not me. I'm just here to look pretty. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So yeah, so we got... So you're not going to uh, talk to the rest of the podcast? Interesting. I will dominate and talk all about arms. I feel uh, inadequate that I only have, like, one hoist out there on my camera, so I'm, I'm going to increase the two hoists here. Oh, Multi hey. Hoist. Since you have three hoists, Anna. I know. I, this is, like, terrible for a person like me because I have a one-per-character role, but I see three of the same character. As that I means say, there's a problem that we need to solve tonight during tonight's podcast. So where did you pull that G1 hoist from? You seemed surprised the other day when we were talking about this that you had a G1 hoist. Yeah, I actually was surprised. He just kind of, like, I was just, I was looking around one day, and there was just a G1 hoist behind me. Where did it come from? Who knows? It's like a magic it's... G1 hoist? I've heard that yeah, you a G1 I... hoist. No, it was, um, so I have a box of stuff I used to take to Toy Man to sell. It's my G1 stuff. It was like my crappy beat up G1 stuff, and that's where he was. I just hadn't opened that box in like years, so I didn't remember what was in there. And I was like, "Oh, it's a totally, totally good condition hoist," as you can see from the complete lack of anything on his back or the yeah. front. <laughs> my, mine is the same way. Like I don't. I, I can't remember where I got this. I think this I got, I got this from like a room sale at TFCon or something that somebody had it cheap. So, besides it not have anything, yours actually looks good from where I can see. Oh, I guess yours or my. I guess you can't uh, see Lucas, mine. Like Anna's looks. Yours fine. looks pretty healthy. Yeah, mine has like some stickers on it and everything. Yeah, yours has a front bumper. It does. Mine and it has not. most of the chrome on it, so that's always a good thing. I just have one hoist out right now. How many hoists do I have overall? Three? I have three. Here's the well, you know, it's, 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 it's funny because uh, hoist is a character that I don't think has been represented that much like in regular Transformers, but yet somehow third party, there's like, what, three different third party third masterpiece switch. versions, right? Because there's the Bad Cube, the MMC, and the X Trans bots. So, yeah. And and there's the uh, Anna showing off to the um, uh, Magic Square as well. Yeah, the Square of Magic. So we're here to talk about this one tonight, though. Which is the Earthrise hoist, brand spanking <laughs> new released. from Target. That did mine come from Target, Christian? Target. It did. Yeah, it came from Christian World. Because mm -hmm. I, so next... I own basically all the Wave One Earthrise that I want, yet I've never found any in the store <laughs> because these two guys have found it for me. That's okay. You pay me back. You got me those bot bots last week during the sale. I did. I did, and they're I believe they're in the mail or something. It should be your Thursday. Great. They'll be there soon. <clears throat> so, tonight we're talking about this one, which is a truck. It, in, in all of his glory, look how the G1 magic that is hoist. Yeah, G1 magic. That's one way to put it. So, truck mode. Let's just truck get mode. straight into it. Truck mode has really nice truck parts, right? Like, the hood's good. The windows are good. It's got... It even has door handles. It's well-sculpted. The tires look nice. 
It's one of the Even few the uh, figures that has battle damage on it still um, for Earthrise. Like, I don't... Do any of the other figures from Wave 1 have any kind of, like... Besides Ironworks, maybe from it not getting enough paint and we just decided it was battle damage. Uh, no. Right. But I actually think it looks pretty good. Like, I, I don't think it takes away from the figure. Uh, so this, like some This of battle the damage ones. to me looks like this truck has been outside as a work truck for about 10 years. It has d- developed that kind of, you know, rain wear and, and stuff. It just kind of looks warm, not space muddy. Yeah. And it's to me, fine better. on... On robot mode, it's fine. On truck mode, you feel like it should be more places than just the front of the hood, but hey, whatever. <coughs> it does kind of look like wear spots. Yeah, it's it's not the space mud battle damage that we've you know, harped on so bad for Siege. And see, it's actually really similar to the damage on the front of the hood of my G1 Hoid. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Pre-scratched. Right, it's a cool scratch. I like, like the they're blue jeans. windows. I like blue windows. I don't like yeah. them on Masterpiece very much, but I like them on these. Oh, I like them on Masterpiece too. I actually think it's an upgrade myself, but yeah, I don't. It's, it's not for me. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it's available. Not for me. Yeah. So I think this truck has a lot of good going for it. Like it really does. Like it's very well. It's very similar to the G11, except that my G11 doesn't have a front. Um, but it, it really evokes the G11. It has most of the good stuff about it that the G11 does, but a little bit nicer. Um, it's not made of like a solid chunk of metal like the G11 is, of course. But um, it looks good. Okay, like if you want to get nifty, paint. you could say that the back hubcaps are not very pretty, but whatever. Uh, I mean, at least they painted the like. They didn't just leave it bare. Like, at least there's silver paint on it, even though yeah. it has a little, you know, sun all the way through yeah, it. The, the silver part. paint looks good on the bumper and on the hubcaps, and I like that the hazard stripe continues from the front all the way to the back. Yes. On the last one, I think it didn't quite carry. No, so I, don't, good. I don't think so. I don't think it did. Um, I really like that it has the compatibility with the whole ramp system. On the back of the hitch. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's neat that it's a tow truck. I don't know what that's called, by the way. It's called the airlock system. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know. I just I've, I looked up the word finally because we couldn't remember it last time. The connect together system. Um, yeah, I like that it's there, though, because it can pull things. Like, right now, I can pull things that don't have wheels because I don't have anything with wheels. But eventually, it'll pull something with wheels. Probably. Eventually. Hopefully. Yeah. Why not? It, it would have been cool if there was a safe. way that it could actually connect to the to the cars themselves. Right. I don't think like with this five millimeter port, like you would you kinda wish that they would have put one like on the top or something so that there's just some way to to connect it, you know, and it could still roll. But I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe we'll get a ramp former. We'll get a ramp master that has wheels on the bottom. Yeah, that's like a, a skate or whatever. We'll or call him ramp or roller. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's that, that little rolling wheel at the bottom of this. So. Yeah, I really I, I like that it rolls because then it actually works. When I first opened it up, I was like, oh, it's just molded orange plastic that looks like a wheel. Then I realized it rolled, and I was like, wow, this is actually cool. Oh, it does. <laughs> So I actually do really, I, I like the truck mode, except that, you know, I'm just going to say it, the the robot hitting off the bottom is extreme on this guy. It's a lot of robot hitting off the bottom, a lot of exposed hands. I mean, yeah, it has exposed hands. I don't think it's that horrible, but I don't know. From a lot of angles, it's very good from... Angles where you are above it, it looks very nice. Straight on, it does not look so good. Um, from the front, it just kind of looks like the truck ends kind of early, like prematurely ends, and then you can see a robot underneath. But, you know, 
it's not perfect, but it's not. It's definitely not the worst I've ever seen. I don't know. Maybe it is the worst vehicle I've ever seen because planes, plane transformers typically do this, right? Like all the jets. But I mean, cars, do you do as much? You didn't complain with Hound or whatever, right? I mean, like this one where it has its hands just hanging out there underneath it too. So I just don't feel like you can see those as easy from the side. I think it's because hoist has to be a tall vehicle. Right. Does he has to, and he does he has to be a tall robot. Everybody has tall robot pieces that have to go somewhere. Right. He does. Cause I mean the, the original does actually have a little bit of robot hanging off the bottom. Mm-hmm. It's not as much, but this also turns into a pretty crappy robot compared to this one. So, well, I think the difference with the G one one as well is is just with the chrome that it kind of looks like truck parts underneath. You know that I don't know. Like it that's the not. way I kind of imagine it. it. It like to me, I feel like that looks more trucky than than what the new one does. You're right. It does look more trucky. It blends in more. Now, I'll just say that since I have it here, the Magic Square has the least robot hanging off the bottom. That is true. (laughs) For what it's worth. It's also lower to the ground proportionally. It is. It is. What I've always said about Magic Square alt modes, especially the older ones, I like that they remind me of original GoBots. They just feel like crappy little plastic cars that are not quite as good as Hot Wheels, but still fun. And I just like how they look. It's a cute thing. But this is technically a nicer looking truck, I would say. Yeah. I think so. Like, I would give it to... I I just think that uh, the the Hasbro one evokes more... Like, it looks more like hoist to me than than the Magic Square does in, uh, in the alt mode. So, even though it has the little parts hanging off, you know, whatever. So, do we have anything else to say about the... Do you guys have anything else to say about alt mode? Nope. Nope. No, not really. Trucky. It's I mean, very it trucky. Ha- it has storage for its little hand cannon thing, but... Oh, yeah, it, it does. Ha- hangs That's off. Nice. It's not terrible, yeah. though. Like, at least it goes on there somehow. Yeah. At least you don't have to throw it in your parts bin. Yeah, um, so they're asking uh, in in the chat about whether or not they could have tucked it more in into the uh, like the parts or whatever underneath a little bit better. I mean, I guess they might have been able to. I don't know. I mean, Maybe. The, tra- the transformation would have had to be slightly different. Like, I mean, they it probably would've. could have like molded the hands slightly different to like. Like, I mean, they, they could have done the thing like Anna hates where you have those like the hands that flip out that create a um, a huge gap in the arm. So these don't have that as much and it has wrist swivels. So it's kind of like because of that, you have the parts just hanging out. So Don't worry, the same may as well not have arms anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> just have the pulled out that way. Yeah, I think oh, is that too much of a preview? It is too much of a preview, but we'll get there. I think with the way that this toy has already gobbled up a lot of the wave budget, I think they probably did the best they possibly could without sacrificing the rest of the wave. Yeah. And this this is a huge figure. Like, it's it's a lot bigger than any other deluxe in the wave. Right? Yeah. Yes. For the wave. Briefly, back when we did Clip Jumper a couple weeks ago, but it's been a couple weeks. And they're transforming. I'll remind all the listeners. Where uh, this happens in Studio Series a lot more than we've seen in generations lately. But the budget that Hasbro has to make figures is not necessarily a budget per figure, but a budget per wave. So maybe Hoist cost whatever twenty five dollars is, but Clip Jump only costs like eighteen, and Wheeljack costs like you know nineteen. So the rest of the that twenty dollars per went to Hoist to make him you know bigger. Well, I'm curious, too. I don't know. I don't have a scale. I I probably could have done, like, West or whatever, where I actually got out and weighed each of the figures. Uh, Because, I mean, there is a fair amount of air inside of Hoist. 
You know, there is. even though he's a bigger figure, um, that that I don't know, it may not necessarily have like it may have a similar amount of plastic as as, as some of yeah. The I remember movies. some people complaining about him being kind of hollow when he first came out because it took me a while to get mine. Um, uh, and I, I don't think he's too hollow. I, I honestly he, don't. I don't think he feels hollow at all. Like I'm gonna nag and complain about this thing for the next fifteen twenty minutes, but I don't think he's too hollow. It's a promise. That's one. That's one possible. That's more than I thought we were gonna get out of Anna for the robot mode. Well, there, there's like one, one uh, feature. Mine's, mine's that... in robot mode, by the way. So. Yeah, it's yours is in robot mode. It's fine. We just had to transform ours, and we both did it off camera. <laughs> And in a respectable amount of time. Yeah, it didn't take too terribly long. I mean, it is an Earthrise figure. It's not like it's going to take all day. And I've actually done this one a few times. I usually haven't really had time to transform my figures very often. But there was a weekend between when I got this one and when we reviewed it. So I actually had time to mess with it. Which is nice. It's nice. I guess I can put this stupid thing on his hand. Wow. I don't like it. I don't like it. It could be better. It could be better. It could be worse. It could be worse. It could just he not have a hand and his hand is the thing. Oh, that would be better for me. What? Nah. Oh, the Tony is asking about the peg issue with Hoist in the chat. Um, I haven't had any issues with mine, but I'm very careful in transforming it, so. I thought the peg issue was the grapple. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I guess he was saying, I, I, I assumed he meant with grapple. He said hoist, but I'm assuming is it grapple, like. (laughs) I know there's a peg issue with grapple where he's been breaking on people. I haven't heard anything about hoist. Mm -mm. Yeah, I haven't had any kind of issues with hoist. Yeah, I'm, I haven't. I I have issues with them. Like we're not friends, but not breakage issues. I haven't had any breaking issues now. So here he is. He pulls a very nice silhouette. He looks like hoist in pretty much every way that he possibly could. It's true, begrudgy level. Um. The detail's nice, the colors are nice, the paint's where it's supposed to be, and I do really like the head sculpt. Yeah, the head, the head sculpt is really nice. Very good. And the paint on the head is... There's not a ton of it, but it's very effective. Yeah, I think it's... I think I've... I mean, I own these three hoists right now, and I've had... I had the MMC one for a while, and I think this is my favorite head sculpt I've had for a hoist. I'd agree with that. It's very nice. This has been Do you think that overall that he looks hoisty enough? Like, when I say that, like, like there's a difference between hoist and trailbreaker, right? When trailbreaker is, like, a little more, and share us with your friends. like, taller, kind of more, I guess, muscular, I guess. Us Whereas, like, hoist is kind of just, like, dumpy and... This yes. is Paul I don't, I don't know how on to... Behalf of do, do you think that he's invokes like enough of that... And we hope you'll join like us next time for another. Or do you think that he looks a little bit too <laughs> muscular? So I'm going to say he doesn't really invoke that look, but I think that's to his benefit. I think he looks better this way. And so this magic square one, which I'm not going to transform on camera because I don't want to throw it out my window. It took the perfectly serviceable, perfectly good trailbreaker mold they had and ruined it in order to make it into hoist. Right? Like, it was a great trail breaker. Really good. And then they made the legs terrible. They made the feet terrible. They made the arms worse, but not terrible. And then it became, you know, hoist. Um, so I'm honestly glad that he has trail breaker legs. Like, if he had the kind of rounded, more hoisty looking legs, ah, I think he'd look worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think overall that they kind of, you know, obviously this is pretty much going to be a straight reprint for Trailbreaker, right? From like what we've seen, other than like the head sculpt, and so and the 
back. And I guess the back the back is going to be and... different too. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. but the actual most most of the bots going to look pretty similar, and so I, I'm just wondering if they kind of like split the difference between the two, so that you know they didn't have to like remold so many parts. I'm fine with that. I really am. Yeah. I'm not with that. I think that we we won on the legs because I think these legs are better. We lost on the arms. I mean, I, see, for me, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's a problem myself. Um, so just and, real quick, the legs are really well articulated. They're like Siege and Earthrise level jointed. articulation. Huh? Do the, double, do the double joint. It's incredible. And where? The knee? His knees. Sure. Yeah. You can fold up and turn back into a truck. I know it's a transformation joint, but, I mean... No, it's nice. It's nice. Anyway. It lets him move more. He's got decent ankles. Like they're they're not bad. They're not great. Um, the legs are hollow in the back, just so everyone knows. They are. Um, and it's like I go back and forth on whether or not I hate the feet because the feet are very <laughs> subtle. I was wondering if you're gonna talk about that, Anna, because I know you've have that hatred of feet that don't go out far enough. Well, you can tilt the ankle so you can tell they're a separate thing. So Anna, Anna wants feet. these kind of feet for all of her Transformers. Yes. Big old feet. <laughs> cliff, 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 <laughs> cliff jumper feet. I like feet to be discernible as feet. This is basically like if you cut off 75% of my toes or feet. Here's little tiny <laughs> toes. He's an alien robot. He's all right. Little tiny toesies. Tiny. Hey, that's okay. So, yeah, and my friend here is helping me already get started on talking about the hinges. But, um, yeah, so this is how the arms work. The arms are mounted they, to his arm flaps. They, uh, such. full tilt up side to side. And then... Yeah. All the way around. So, full range of motion on the arms. Except that you're stuck with these flaps. And that means that in a lot of... In a lot of poses, he's just going to have these chunks going out to the front of him. Which... I just can't stand it. I can't pose him like this. With those things out. just got in a in a large fight about this. Oh, I guess not a fight, because it wasn't hateful or anything, but a, a large argument about these flaps the other day when Anna got her hoist, and Luke's and I had ours for a couple weeks, and so Anna got it and was like, this is the trashiest, the arm flaps are horrible, I hate them, and Lucas and I were, you know, vehemently defending, was like, it's fine, it's got all the range of motion that you need, it's just a toy, don't worry about it. But, here's the thing I've not told either of you since that time. I'm now kind of on Anna's side. I'm not all the way there. No! I'm, in, I'm now squarely in the middle of the two of you. Oh, no. So I, I don't mind that it does this. I don't like that it does this either. One hinge right here. Yeah. This could just fold up back so it's not a huge chunk. You've know, you got you to gotta put the stuff somewhere. Okay. It has to go. So, That's fine. So here's the thing for me. Half, and it's fine. I will only contend this point for Trailbreaker. So if oh. if they nah. like if they put that for Hoist and for Trailbreaker, because I do think that for Trailbreaker, if you want an animation accurate one, you don't want those you know, huge honking panels, but when I think of hoist, I think of those huge honking panels hanging off it's the design. It's not animation it's, accurate. It, it is. is not... They don't pop out like that when he puts his arms forward. It's it's a lot accurate. It's not completely accurate, but I think this is an area where they could have been like, do we need to be that accurate or can we make a better toy? Yes! That's all it is. Like, it could have been better because this hinge... On his arm. His arms are not simplistic. These are complex yeah, arms. They're good yeah. arms. They're just, like, the joints are in the wrong places. Yep. And, again, I don't hate the flaps because they are accurate, at least for the most part. But they could be better, and there's not really a reason they 
we shouldn't be better. Because right. put a hinge there. Put a hinge there. Lucas can leave them down because he likes them that way. You can put it up because you like it that way. And I can go back and forth because I'm in the well, middle. Okay, so a couple different things that I, I wonder, you know, if they're doing it. One is that it makes it a much more, like, stable, solid figure to have it the design that they have. And then also, yeah. if you're talking about putting hinges and all that kind of stuff on there, you're talking about parts extra parts count. And so, right. like, I think that that's... Which is probably why they didn't do it. I, I think that... I, I think that's, that too... Cause that's fine. The other thing, too, is... is And, and we haven't talked about um, Starscream yet, right? But, like, the thing that annoys me about Starscream is, is, like, with his chest is, like, kind of boxy, and, like, this part is, like, one huge honking piece, right? It makes it incredibly stable, but, like, if they would have, like, made extra pieces so that it would have been, like, a little more slender, and, um, I don't know, like, I think it would have, like, looked better overall for the figure so it's like a, it's a really so like it's probably like the same way as this where it's like they're really solid 20 30 dollar figures whereas like if they would have added the extra you know little niceties in it now you're talking like you're pretty much masterpiece you know oh, i wouldn't go quite that far but i i agree with with my friend in the chat there if they would have just used a different kind of shoulder instead of the kind that they chose, it would have worked. I think there's a lot of different solutions that could have worked here that would have solved the problem, but it isn't. Um, but I will say, just for those of you who are like, ooh, Anna is right, which I know you're out there. Thank you for existing. Um, for those of you who agree with me, you can pull the arm back and then rotate the shoulder out, flip the arm around upside down, and you end up with a forward range of motion on the arm with the flip, with the flap going back. And that looks okay. He doesn't get a full range of motion from it, and it's not natural feeling, but it works. Oh, but he can't put his hand at his side. I see what you're saying. Right. He can't quite get... He just loses the middle range of motion. Like he can, he can operate with his arm all the way down at his side, or he can operate like pointing upwards. It's not awful. But he, it's not awful. Like it lets him do fun poses. Like that's the pose I had him in in our advertisement picture for today, where he was repairing the roof. Um, that's how I did it. I had to flip his arm around backwards. Which is fine. Nice. It totally works like that. This is what recovered the figure. Like, this figure was literally my plan was to... Whoops, I just took him apart. My plan was to review this figure today and put him up for sale instantly afterwards until I discovered that hinge thing I could do to get that upper range of motion. Now I'm okay with them. Like, barely okay. I wonder if someone like Matrix Workshop or DNA yeah. will do a, a kit for him and kind of replace those arms. Maybe. Yeah, We've seen know. kits for basically every Siege figure, so I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see. So, one thing I do want to point out with this hoist, right, is that so many new figures, everyone craps on the new one and says, oh, man, it was so much better, like, ten years ago or whatever, right? The old figure is obviously better, and it you know, it's bigger and it's like whatever, right? I want to say that at least in Hoist case, it is not the case. Like, so this is the, I have the Thrilling 30 uh, Hoist, right? And, like, that thing has some hollow in it. Like, the legs have some hollow too, right? The arms. But he's not, he's not as tall, like, as, as the Hoist. And he just doesn't look, like, I mean, he doesn't look accurate at all, comparatively. Um, but like this just is not as good thing. of a figure as no, I like not. Figure. Huh? No, I don't. I don't I like hate it. Figure. So it's, it's not bad. It's to a different thing. It's it's trying to do a different thing than this one is doing. Right, but I, I'm just saying that in my opinion, like I don't think this is not 
as good of a figure. So, like, I think that there's a case could be made for a lot of these where you're like the old figure that they had or whatever out there is could be superior or whatever. But I think that this one, this new one, is clearly superior to this older one. Right. What you're saying is the hoist has improved. And I'll give you that much. Hoist has definitely improved. This is a better hoist. Yeah, he's good. Go good. <laughs> I wouldn't say that much, but <laughs> I know. I think he's you know great to go along with the rest of the line. And, you know, if you really like your old hoist, keep your old hoist. I like that one too. Do you want this one because it looks accurate? Get him because he's nice. Here's your comparison to see the improvements. <laughs> there you go. Poor G1 hoist. Good head sculpt still though. I it's a flat head, head with, skull. I mean, it's I still... Green, green head hoist. I still really like the G1 hoist. Like, I think it's a neat sculpt and, and what... I mean... I've never had one. A lot of these, you know, G1 figures are, are pretty rough, like, are pretty limited. And, and so I actually think that the G1 hoist is one of the better ones. Here's the thing. While the, while the arm flaps are definitely not accurate to the animation... They are accurate to the G1 toy because the arm flaps do not move independently of his arms. See, there you go. G1 accurate, baby. Which, you know, as, as Christian said and I've said, it's just, is G1 accuracy worth making the toy a little bit worse? And my answer is always no. Always. I always want G1s, you know. G1's always better. I think it's I think it's fine to make it look as accurate as possible. I just think that little improvements to the toy that don't actually harm the look are good. Yeah, I could have done with a hinge for this. I don't need yep. it. I don't need it. it. Doesn't affect you know that I'd still like this figure, but it would have been a nicer figure if it had it. I still managed to find ways to play with him as is. Like I can still have fun posing him doing housework. And repairing roofs. So that makes me happy. Like, I have to... I'm, I'm weird. I like to put my Transformers in non-violent poses. They don't just, like, all pose in a line on the shelf holding their guns forward. I do things with them. So... Good. We have a name for that. Called... Anna posing, that's all. Oh, Anna posing. I thought you were going to yeah. play with your fingers, which I no. do. No, we just call it Anna posing. You know, there's a lot of Anna posing that goes on in Anna's house. <laughs> Surprise. That's that's where it should happen most, really. Yeah, the Eagle Tilt is good. Um, as in our chat. Like it's it's about as good as you can get. Yeah. Dang. Eagle Tilt's like a robot champ. And you asked earlier if he had um good heels. His his heels are sufficient. He's not gonna fall down. He does waist swivel, but it doesn't always work with the uh, the hood. Oh, yeah. He does have waist swivel to an extent, yeah. The hood does get in the way. And the head's on the ball joint. Oh, and the, ba and the uh, back gets in yeah. the way. But, you know, I think that's probably as much you know, waist swivel as you need. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think that... Uh, you like. The, the Earthrise Optimus Prime is kind of the same way, where it's like, you can't do some crazy... I mean, you can if you take the the wheels off the back, but um, yeah, like s some of these figures, like the waist swivel's not like full waist swivel, but it's enough to get it into a good pose. Yeah. Or you have stuff like Ironworks who has a different kind of waist swivel, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like a waist wiggle. Yeah, it, it gets the range of motion, but it's not a actually bit, the yeah. waist that's doing it. It's kind of cool. It's interesting. But. Yeah, and this is my alternative. So yeah, Which I mean, to keep. have you figured it out yet? Yeah. Um, I definitely like this one better than the Magic Square. Oh wow! Well, there we go. I mean, that's a that's a strong recommend for Mana right there. Like it better than the Magic Square. This is like 
that this is like the second worst magic square figure or is it the first worst? Let me think. Mm. It's the first worst magic square figure. No. It is. I don't know. I think the head sculpt on that side swipe may just like knock it down all the way. Ugh, um, you're right about that. The head sculpt on that side swipe is poop. But the rest of the figure's better. So I'm still going to say this is the worst because they took a perfectly good figure. They took Trailbreaker, which is great, and they killed it. They killed it into hoist. So, That's yeah. my passion. I have a lot of passion about Hoist for being a character I don't care about very much. You say you don't like care about. He's green. He's like the only green, green dude in G1. In orange. Green and orange. With the gravel, but yeah. And also the entire background of anywhere they are in the show. It's orange. I just like the color orange. Like, I don't really care about it being accurate. I just like orange. I'm excited to get Grapple hopefully this week so they can hang out together. He can be very figure. orange. Yeah, I guess I can show off my Grapple with him. We hadn't really oh, reviewed him yet, so... What a flex. Not really much of a flex. I, I have Target in the same my orange? area. Yeah, I haven't seen one. I've gone to Target. I haven't uh, seen one. I saw that like they've been dropping at Walmart's now, and people have been showing off. Yeah. There's like 30 grapples at like Walmart now. I mean, not every Walmart, obviously, but... Yeah, I'm waiting for a repaint on the grapple mold, because I have a grapple that I think is perfectly amazing. So... Yeah. Since I can't see your other camera, is the orange the same on hoist and grapple? Um, yeah, I think it is. Good. Oh, nice. Since they're a, a team, a duo, they're friends. But, but yeah, no. I mean, I don't know. I like this. This is this is the perfect choice for me. So I like it. So I like it. It's not perfect, but it's the best we've gotten so far. I think, even though I really liked the uh, Thrilling Thirty one. I'm coping with it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, there has to be a Selects Art Fire, right? Like, there's just going to be one. I just don't Probably. know. Like, I... No. There's going I to be I want there to be. There will be. Like, they or made an Art Fire in Generations, so, like, I don't see why they wouldn't mm. do one in Selects. They... they. So. It's a million huh? publishing exclusive. Those are a bit different. But he did get a Masterpiece, so... He did get a Masterpiece. Yeah, he got a Masterpiece. So I, I, we have Re repaints for this that aren't Trailbreaker. What do we got? Nothing. R.A.D. Toe line. Sure. Uh, Rob mentioned the Diaclone version, the red one. Oh, that's a uh, lift ticket. I take him too. Sure. I think technically it's an it because it's non sentient. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, there's a yellow one, I think. There's a blue one. I've seen the yellow one in third party. I don't know who it is. I think it's a Diaclone. Is it? Okay. Game. I, th I think. I think. I wish Peter was here. He would tell me. But yeah, there's definitely a blue Diaclone one, and there's a white Diaclone one. Would this be the right figure for Gobot's Hoss? I don't know who that is. The GoBot. I figured that much. You're welcome. I'm very good at this. I want I want R.I.D. Toe Line. That's what I want. Give me that. There you go. That's what I want. Eh, you'd be okay for Hoss. So, I guess we're all saying recommend on this one? Is that the... I guess, as long as Anna says so. Yes. Although I do want to note that he was using the X Transpot's name. That's Road Ranger. Who I had. Oh. Or I still have. Okay, I know who Road Ranger is. Yeah, he wouldn't be right for Road Ranger, I don't think. No, it's different. It would work if it had to. Um, no, I'm I'm okay with this figure now. Like I don't hate it. I don't love it. 
I think that it's not terrible for $20. I just, I do feel that the arms were something that could have been fixed without raising the cost. And I wish the designer would have done a better to it. But they didn't. Both agree. Sorry. I think you and I can both agree this is way better than the MMC one. Because you and I yeah. both about pulled our hair out over that one separately at different times. Yeah, I'm just like... I can't even really remember what I hated about that figure, but there was no it pleasure in opening it. Yeah. yeah, it didn't transform. Huh? It transforms. It was, it was so sure. hard to transform. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there was no fun in it at all. It was just it was not fun to own awful it. grinding to get it done. I See, hated it. I, I never had... I, and I don't know if uh, Rob's still in the chat, but, like, I never had the X-Trans bots voiced... And they never had the bad cube one, but I can't imagine that they were more fun than the MMC one. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's like bad cube and X transbots are not known for their fun transformations either. So like, that's, that's true. That's uh-huh. the thing for me is, is that like, I just, you know, those types of transformations that like, where you're worried, you're going to break the darn figure. Um, like I, I'm not a fan. So that's why I like this better. If I'm if what Anna says is true about the Magic Square, it's the same thing with the MMC. Trailbreaker was pretty good, you know, a, a bit challenging, but not you know make you want to die. Hoist was way way worse for MMC. Like a Magic Square figure should not be painful and upsetting to transform. They're too small, too simple for that to happen, and this one is frustrating. Uh, Rob says yeah. X-Trans bots is uh, superior, so... He says they're great. That they're better than MMC, so... There we go. Perfect. Good. That's something for me not to look for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Fans Toys, yes. Fans Toys, toys. when is that going to come out? To like, 2023? Because they haven't so even released... 2023? 2023. The, they haven't released... They haven't released their... Uh, Trailbreaker yet, which was supposed to come out like two years ago, so yeah. Oh, fans voice. So yeah, go by Rick Price Hoist. I like him. Lucas loves him. Anna thinks he's okay. Anna will tolerate his existence. <laughs> so, uh, tomorrow night, Rob should be doing Ash My Wallet, I think. That's going to be at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern, if you want to check that out. That'll be on our YouTube channel. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, if you like what we do, consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash TFYLP. Oh, and, and Discord. And oh, Discord yeah, we got a new Discord channel. Oh, yeah. um, There's a link on our Facebook page. Oh, to our Discord you know what? Page. I'll, uh, I'll share that on Twitter, too, for the people that don't do Facebook. Then you you're can listening talk to this to now. It all day long. Yay. Well, it sounds so great, doesn't it? <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's a good it, it's a good outlet for those people that don't do Facebook. So I'll have to share it on Twitter because I know a lot of our 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 Twitter's not like as active as as other channels. So I think the Discord actually work out pretty well for those people that don't do Facebook. So I'm planning to start sharing some of my toy rants on the Discord when I get a new toy and I think it's trash and I just want to say it a lot. I think I'm going to start putting that on the Discord. So. Either that's a reason to avoid it or to come see it. Depends on your type of person. And I'm sure you have your own fans that will love love your rants. Love to see me rants about the random things I hate, which is basically everything. So so I'm just <laughs> curious because like we could have had like you know, what what is that like the stages of was like the dabda or whatever, like denial, anger, bargaining, whatever, right? I feel like I went through that. With I, I, I know, that's what I was going to say. Like, if you could have <laughs> had this on Discord, you would have, like, totally had that, been going through that, where you've been, like, complaining about it for days, and you're like, wait until I talk about this on Microcasters. And then I totally feel like you softened your stance, like, within the last couple days. I got really fired up. Like you, you, you are everyone who's viewing, watching, listening, whatever. You don't even know how fired up I was, got. It was vehement. And then these two just completely rejected it. They were like, "Oh, it's G one accurate, therefore it's good." La la la. 
And it was like, no, I, I was, I was about ready to question, question their sanity. It's very upset. I was livid. But it better. She was livid. It was. It was really wild for a couple hours. Oh, there Undercover. you go. Rob, Rob wants to do a special microcasters with Lyle Convoy. So I know. Lucas, which one of us is going to buy him so that we can do it too? Uh, the only thing is, is if we do that, can you promise to break him, Rob? Like live on camera? <laughs> so as long as you Maybe can we'll do, do a that, show swap then, with Rob. Then, you can have microcasters for a week and we'll take out my wallet. I, I just want to see like Rob be like, this is totally intuitive and all that like crack snap like snap it half. <laughs> Lion head just flies across the screen. So Alright. Well, I guess that's it. So uh thanks everyone for tuning in, participating in the chat, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks so much.